Hello everyone, welcome back to my Let's Play of the Village of Village of Valley Princess. And now we're uh, now we are just uh, following the Sora Spirit Princess thing. And looks like we have to go to the graveyard. I know. So let's just go there. This might be a week's worth of videos. <laughs> I don't know how many parts this is taking. Oh, what's this? And it's shining. <laughs> mm. And it disappears. Okay. Here we are. This new area that we couldn't access before. Oh, let's go there. I am deeply grateful for you and for, for aiding my son in. In this time of me, you were right to bring him here. The Kahui village is a sacred place for the Zora people. It is where we take to find eternal rest. My husband and in, in life, King Zora, also rests in spirit here. It is no coincidence my son found his salvation in this place. Something that which I have promised he was within this grave during his lifetime. My husband created garments specially, specially, specially for the chosen hero. Garments that house the abilities of the Zora. Hmm. Nice. And we got the Zora armor. That now this all allows us to swim in water like a Zora. Now that second joint. The king, king in slumber. And yet, and yet, my son. He still knows nothing of my death. If you see him again, please pass on this message. Tell him he must not grieve him. His mother is passing. Tell him she wants him to be, be brave and live on. As a king of our people. And tell him his mother loves him without end. Tell him. Don't we all? Of course, yeah, 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 I mean, uh... Okay, so now let me just uh, equip our new armor. The Zara armor, and let me just show it off. Yes, we can swim. And we won't have to worry about the underwater time thingy. Like what we would normally do it before. Now there, if I'm if I'm correct, there is a secret passageway that will lead us straight to Zora's Zora, like Lake Hylia or something like that. Zora's domain maybe. But first off, I want to get the water bombs because it is really required to get like, um, like in the temple. So uh, yeah, just to get that out of the way. I'm not mistaken, there was a. A uh, um, a uh, bug here or something. I don't know. Well, let's just sh let me see if I, I don't know if I've done this yet. I don't know if I haven't. <laughs> and it's a purple rupee. This is great. So let's now go and uh, get the bombs. And honestly, I do not know how long this video was going to be. I'm wanting to keep this as long as until we I get to uh, the until I'm ready for the like the temple. 
So, no, I do not want to talk to you. Uh, I just want to get in here. Okay. Okay. Bomb spawns. There's another bomb. Yep, let's buy it. Huh? Oh, yes! What we're supposed to do is go over here. And... Here, I'll sell. Sell bombs. And... Buy this one. 15. There we go. So now we have our water bombs now. Now we can blow up stuff underwater. Which is really useful for the next temple. And also to get to like highly uh faster. Or I don't know, somewhere around there. So anyways. Here we are, at the graveyard, so, oh, and there it is, there's the ant, just wanted to pick that up, <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna, Get on our Zora armor. And I believe this is um, the uh, um, area that we have to go to. So I'm gonna stick in. Oh yes, it will. Here we are at Lake Hylia. And does this have some epic music? Yes, it does. Now we have some little time. Like, a little bit of time left. That'll give me some, a lot of time to show you something. It's way over there. Yes, this does really have a lot of epic, like really epic music. It's really epic. Now, there's one mini game I want to do before we head on to the next temple, and I don't know why this is taking so long. So I'm just gonna swim, and I am going to hope, hope that it will be a lot faster. Oh look. So let's just go. Let's go over here. And one thing we're going to do is go over here. And let's talk to this guy. And we are going to go inside here, and this will take us to, like, up the upper area, so we can do a mini game. This could be... He's just weird. And, and then... Kaboom! And that takes us all the way over here. So we can do a mini game, and this I'm gonna have this video be a little over 10 minutes because I just wanna show off this mini game and over to the next temple. And this clown. 
It's really weird. And what we're actually gonna do is we're, we have to pick up a chicken. And, uh... I said pick up a chicken. Pick up a chicken. There we go. And we are going to fly and get oh, all the way over to uh, this little area over here. And if you click those rings, uh, I don't know, I just, you know. And what I'm really aiming for is over here, a little top thing right there. There's a treasure chest that's moving. You get a lot of rupees for this. Yes, there we go. Oh, 100 rupees! That is a lot. <laughs> 20 rupees. And... 10 rupees. I'll give us, uh, I guess I have enough rupees. Alright, so, now we're going to head off to the temple. And, uh, the next part we will actually start the next temple. Which I'm really excited. Mmm, well, actually, not because the temple's really hard and very annoying. Whatever, it has to be done. So well. So let's just uh, go over here, and you'll see that this thing, is, and we have to bomb it for uh, for us to be able to act, be, act, have access to the temple. Well, of course we have to use a bomb again because that thing there, and we have to blow it up. So yeah, let's just bomb it. That, what? Okay. What? Why is it not? Why is it not blowing up? There we go. I don't know why it was not. It was not blowing up. So, anyways, let's enter the next temple, which is. Yep, this is it. So, stay tuned. Let's play the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Good. Bye.